Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video we're gonna be trying a new lightener that you guys wanted me to try. So this is new at Sally Beauty and it's from Ion and it is the Charcoal Flash Powder Lightener. Here's what it looks like. I was only able to get it in little packs like this so I bought three little packs of the lightener. It says it has 10 level lightener in one step and it also says it has Plex 3 bonding technology in it which you guys know I love bleaches with a built-in bond and forcing in it. Like why not? If you're gonna bleach your hair you might as well just buy a lightener that already has it in there so it's going to protect your hair a little bit more this is also like i said charcoal so it is like a charcoal based lightener it's going to be that super dark gray which is supposed to help cancel out warm tones as your hair lifts so here's what it looks like cute little packaging on the back it says that you can mix up with 10 20 30 or 40 volume developer and they recommend you mix it up one to one and a half ratio which means one part lightener one and a half parts of developer. So let's say you do 20 grams of lightener, then you're gonna do 30 grams of developer, which is one and a half. You can mix it up one to one and a half, up to one to two ratio. So if you did 20 grams of this, you could do 40 grams of developer, but it's recommending not to like exceed one to two ratio when you mix it up. And then it says you leave it on and check every five to 10 minutes. And the maximum processing time for this lightener is 45 minutes, which is on the lower side of most lightener a lot of them go up to 60 minutes this one says after 40 minutes do not exceed so we're not going to go over 45 minutes today it also says not to apply on clean hair which i thought was interesting because most lighteners don't specify hey don't put this on freshly washed hair which thankfully i do not have freshly washed hair uh, my hair is so oily i've been purposely not shampooing it and not washing it when i've been showering so uh, my hair is in perfect condition to do a little bleach now i will say this is only five weeks of regrowth normally i do not bleach my roots this soon but I'm going on a trip and I want freshly dyed rainbow hair and I could just dye my hair rainbow, but it's like, it looks so much better with fresh roots. So I was like, why not bleach it? It is within that time frame of like when it's acceptable to touch up your roots. Normally it's recommended to touch up your hair in between bleaches every four to six weeks. So I'm like smack dab in the middle at five weeks. So it's fine if I do this. I'm just personally not used to doing it so soon. Normally I wait like six to eight weeks to do mine. So I went ahead and I mixed mine up with 20 volume development and I did mix mine up a one to one and a half ratio. There is no fragrance to it. It doesn't smell really strong like bleach. It also doesn't have a perfume or like it doesn't smell like they put any additional fragrance in it to make it smell better. It's very, very mild and it's very, very thick. It almost reminds me a little bit of like a clay lightener. It's pretty thick and it seems kind of oily. So I'm excited to try it today and see how it works. I'm gonna start switching up the way I bleach my hair. So normally I start at the bottom and work my way to the top. I'm just trying to start different places whenever I do my retouch with bleach because if I keep doing it at the bottom, it's gonna be overlapping back there and I'm gonna have breakage. So I think switching it up every time I touch up my roots is going to lessen the amount of breakage I get. So let me section off my hair and we will start applying the lightener and see how it performs. While I'm sectioning my hair, I would just like to mention um, I'm currently under a tornado watch, but I do need to keep working. Um, so that's not gonna stop me. I grew up around tornadoes. So I actually opened both blinds today right here so I can keep an eye on what's happening outside. Normally I have the blinds closed. So if you see a lot of light coming in on this side, it's because I opened up the blinds so I can keep an eye on what's going on out there. So that way I know if a tornado is coming straight at my building. I might be glancing out the windows every once in a while just to keep an eye on how things are going out there. We are supposed to get some severe weather. So hopefully it doesn't interrupt filming and hopefully everything goes smoothly and we don't have any emergencies happening while I'm filming. All right, let's set up my mirror so I can see what I'm doing in the back of my head and let's apply this lightener. I am very eager to start applying this and get my roots touched up and have some fresh rainbow hair. I'm telling you what, it has been difficult living with this faded rainbow. I am so ready for some bright, vibrant rainbow hair again. So let's bleach these roots so we can then have some bright, vibrant hair again. So like I said, I am applying the lightener a different way than I normally apply it. And I think I did a pretty good job at only getting it on that small amount of regrowth. I was nervous because again, I've never touched up my regrowth with this small amount of roots, but I think I did a pretty good job of just tapping it on that area that was dark and making sure to not overlap. Later on in the video, after I rinse off the product, I do talk a little bit more about the product and how I liked it or if I didn't like it. But I will say, um, I 
I did not enjoy this product at all. If you don't make it to the end of the video, just know I would not recommend this product. It was extremely dry and flaky during the processing time, and I've used charcoal lightener like three different times before and I think charcoal lightener is just not for me. My experience with all of them have been pretty similar. I just don't like the consistency. I don't like that you can't see how the hair is lifting during the processing time and I think all of them dry out and are a little bit thicker and harder to work with. So yeah, I would not recommend. All right, time to do the front. So I'm noticing this one is swelling a lot more um, on my hair than the last bleach I tried from Sally's. The last bleach was the Bond Bar Lightener that they released. That one did not swell nearly as much as this one is swelling. Honestly, swelling doesn't really bother me that much. I know a lot of people hate it when lighteners swell, but for me, I really, I really don't mind. I'm curious to see if the lightener where it touches these bright pink sections if it's going to lift out at all. I don't think it's going to. I don't think it's gonna fade the pink literally in the slightest, but I am curious and interested to see. Anybody else's eyes like start to go like cross-eyed and like get super strained whenever you dye your hair? My eyes get like so exhausted <laughs> by the time I'm done bleaching my roots because I'm looking in certain directions for a long period of time and like straining my eyes to look at a direction they're not used to. Wonder if that happens to anybody else or if it's just my eyes are weaklings. I got little weak eyes in there. Also, I apologize if you hear construction trucks, whether it's sirens, construction, people who are on drugs, hollering. There's always something going on outside my windows and I have not been outside all day today, so I have no idea what's going on or what type of construction's happening. Try not to leave the house very often, you know? Doing the back was difficult. Like doing this side, was way harder than doing this side because of the way I had the mirrors lined up. But we got it done and I will go back through and I will check everything to make sure that I didn't mess anything up too severely. Okay, here's a good chunk of the pink right here. What do we think? Do we think the lightener overlapping on it is going to lift it at all? Because I don't. I think it's just gonna make it brighter. It's hard for me to talk with you guys whenever I'm doing my roots. I go into like total concentration mode, especially because my roots aren't grown out very much. So I'm really trying not to mess this up and like overlap too far, cause any damage. The roots of my rainbow still look really pretty. Like when I was sectioning the back of my head and I was like seeing all the different colors of rainbow, it still looks so good up by my root. It's just my ends that are so extremely faded, but the roots look pastel and so pretty. We've got one half done. Let's do the other half. The sky is in fact looking sketchier and sketchier. You guys wanna know something like funny, but like not funny? So my husband and I were talking. The two people that like have continuously caused havoc and tried to break in and just screaming in the middle of the night and like just having a psychotic episode in the middle of the street, like these two guys, okay? We know both of them by name. We know who they are because we've talked to the police several times, blah, blah, blah. They're both, they both have a long ass extensive record, okay? Well, anyway, my husband and I were like, I have not seen them in a while. Like it's been a few weeks since they tried breaking in last, right? And then we were like, I wonder if they got arrested. So I look up their names in the court system. They both got arrested three days apart from each other. And that is why I have not seen them or not been awoken in the middle of the night to somebody breaking in my house because they both got arrested again. So I am very thankful for that. Hopefully they figure their lives out and get the help they need because I'm tired of it. But yeah, it's been uh, decently quiet as far as people screaming and fighting and having total mental breakdowns in the middle of the road at 3 a.m. That part's been quiet. Now the sirens and all that stuff, it's never really quiet down here, but I felt a little safer because I haven't been constantly harassed by those two. And I do feel a little bit better knowing that they were arrested. Yesterday, there was a murder and then there was an attempted murder, armed robbery. And the kid that died was young, dude. He was in his early 20s and he was shot. And then the same day, some guy tried stealing this lady's car and tried carjacking her in the middle of the night and tried killing her and thankfully missed when he was shooting at her and didn't hit her. And then the next morning, there was another robbery at a gas station. I'm just like, now, now I have to look at myself in the mirror and say, now, bitch, why do you make the choices you make? Why did you think it was a good idea to live here? And I'm literally, if you guys follow my Instagram, you know I am, I'm literally not joking when I say this. I literally don't know if I'm gonna make it out of this town alive. I'm, I literally, that's, and no exaggeration, I am so serious when I say that. I literally don't know if I'm gonna make it out of this town alive because of how scary it is here. <sighs> but I'm working on moving, you guys. And my main goal right now, I'm just trying to save money 
to get out because I know a lot of people are like, move, move. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> Trust me, it's not like I'm staying here for fun getting mentally tortured every day. All I can do is try and make light of the situation and find the humor in it, which there isn't much humor, but uh, I'm just trying, okay? Literally just trying to survive. Thankfully, I don't leave the house that often. And you know what I think? I try not to be too hard on myself on like, you know, me moving here and like choosing this and blah, 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 because I think the reason I was like, thought it was a good idea is because I am, I grew up in a very small town. And so I think that I had just, I don't know. I think I was pretty naive to the fact that even in bigger cities, I just thought that people were nice. You know, I had just assumed that everybody maybe acted like people in a small town. And that was very naive on my part because boy, have I learned. Boy, has the world taught me and humored me in that aspect of life. Hey, at least I learned my lesson, right? At least I learned my freaking lesson. Hey, I just set my timer for 45 minutes to make sure that I don't go over the recommended amount of time. I am gonna check it every 10 minutes just to see how it's lifting and make sure that I'm not like over processing it. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna let this process go back through, check everything, and then I will be right back um, to show you guys how it lifted and we're gonna see what it looks like. We are back and I can literally not make this up. There is literally a man getting arrested right now, right outside my window on the street. I'm currently watching him in handcuffs. The cops are going through his pockets, making sure he doesn't have any sharp weapons or knives on him. Um, and there's currently a very bad storm tornado watch happening at the same time. So I love my life. This is awesome. <laughs> Literally, I can't make this up. The weather is really bad. The sky is starting to look super sketchy. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video, but let me just tell you about this lightener and my final thoughts. I hate this lightener. Unfortunately, I hate it. It's probably my least favorite lightener I've tried at Sally Beauty so far. During processing time, the bleach is like very, very clay-like and crumbly. It was just like hard to saturate in the hair and I think it's the charcoal. I think most charcoal bleaches that I have used have that certain texture to them where they feel way more drying. My hair didn't stay moist like it normally would during processing time. I couldn't see how my hair was lifting. Even when I wiped off the lightener, it was still really hard to see how my roots were lifting and my hair feels extremely extremely dry after using this lightener so honestly like i said this is probably my least favorite lightener at sally beauty and under no circumstances would i ever purchase it or use it again on my hair bleaching is one of those things that i'm pretty particular about um because obviously you can damage your hair severely when bleaching your hair and lightening it so yeah i definitely would not use this again there are so many other amazing lighteners at sally beauty that you can get the last one I tried, Bond Bar, was way better than this one. So I highly recommend checking out the Bond Bar lightener versus this one. It just, every aspect of the lightener, I honestly did not like other than the fact that it didn't have a strong smell to it. That's literally the only thing that I liked about the lightener is that it didn't smell very strong, but the consistency, the way it processed, the way it made my hair feel, everything else, I did not like. If you still wanna try it for yourself, I'll leave it linked in the description down below. Just saying, be cautious when using it and I would recommend trying the Bond Bar one instead. I'll leave the link to the Bond Bar lightener in the description down below as well. So it did lift my roots nicely, but I definitely would not recommend and it's not worth the lift you get for the way it makes your hair feel and how hard it was to work with. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it helped you in some way. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video for some rainbow hair. Bye!